This episode of Action with Podcast is brought to you by our gold partner, A Star Financial Solutions UK, who'll support you on your journey to expand your property portfolio. Thanks to our silver partner, TapTap Send, with great rates, zero fee, and instant transfers, sending money to Nepal has never been easier. Use the code Action10 for a ten pound bonus. Download the app today. Tap tap and send now. Big mention to our silver partner, New Lakshmi Jewelers, home to a stunning range of jewelry collection and timeless pieces from the heart of Aldershot. Our bronze partners, Nepal Authentic Dining, where delicious Nepali food is served at Shepherd's Bush and Boston Manor, and our bronze partner, Nepali Music Festival UK 2022, taking place at the Harrow Leisure Centre on December 16 with Trishna Gurung, Ekdev Limbu, Sabin Rai, and the Pharaoh. Enjoy the episode. Today on the podcast, we have. Pepper with us. Um, Pepper, welcome to the Action With podcast. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling jolly. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get straight into it. Um, uh, we have you on the podcast. We're so excited. Um, straight up, if there was somebody on the street and said, hey, tell me about yourself, introduce yourself, how would you um, take a stab at that? Because I know that you do a lot of things. Oh, yes, I guess. Uh, jack of all, master of none. Hey? <laughs> this is oh like God, the, you can't say that. the thing is, I've not specialized in a niche, but if anyone was to ask me, I'm a Nepali girl who's come from a very humble beginning, and uh, I'm a woman who loves tech. Plus, uh, I love animals. I mean, I think in terms of philanthropy, fashion, uh, just, just, I think culture, feminism, all in one. So a very versatile person in general. I love that. I think if there was um, a board, um, you know, one of those murals or mood boards, yeah. I think you'd have a lot. Yes. You'd have a lot. You know, there's a lot of things that you speak up about. There's a lot of things that you're involved in mm -hmm. um, from travel, um, you know, animal rights, um, tech and also you know being a woman and speaking about your experiences and yeah. so on um, I definitely get that range from you mm -hmm. you mentioned that you know um, uh, you come from a humble background mm -hmm. so tell us about your background um, it's interesting I grew up I was born and raised in Tamil mm -hmm. uh, so my full name is Asta Podel but most most people know me by the name of Pepper and Pepper Nam Rachnubani there's a reason uh, you already know we've discussed this in the past um, mm -hmm. so I love food I'm a big foodie as well and Pepper is the spice of life and yeah. um, I just feel like you know that really sort of suits me because what I really believe in mirror affirmations that change is the only consistent thing in life and mm. you've just got to go for something new. Malay, um, if I'm just sort of, you know, just closed in in one environment, it really bores me to death. So I think, yeah, just just a simple girl. Um, very tomboyish back in the day when I grew up in Kathmandu. Had uh, very different interests. Um, uh, I guess very people-pleasing character six growing up as a child. Like someone who you wouldn't spot in the crowd basically really? yeah wow. no i think that that side came out a bit later in my age but um ikdum suzu but as like some like my afu say um and then yeah went to school around the area uh went to college in Xavier academy mm -hmm. and then thereafter after i um you know went into music um completed my bachelor's in nepal so it's about music uh nepal mane hota kare ne you know i guess this, these are your teen years teen years mate music karna tha da kare sen would you say there was still that bit of like um sozo asta uh who was doing music because that was something you were interested in and you became a different person or had you kind of left that you know sozo phase behind um you know what i think as a child i dealt with a lot of uh, sort of trauma from sexual abuse to things like that, I, I, which I've not really sort of out, been so outspoken about. There'll be a, another chapter of my mm -hmm. life where I think I'll be more open and more comfortable talking about it. But because of that, the inferiority complex, that's why I found more comfort in just being tomboyish and just being the one in the corner and maybe socializing with men mostly mm -hmm. because Katie um, Man Sang said I felt like I wasn't feminine enough. And you know like how there's strong ideas about what a woman looks like, what a girl looks like, how she should behave, how mm -hmm. she shouldn't behave and so forth. That that idea was uh, really disturbing to me from from the beginning. Um day by say like I like gradually sort of built my attention 
uh, towards like you know fashion things like that. Pachi goyro music and music was my solace. It was mm-hmm. like oh I find comfort. I really enjoy doing this. So I used to use an app um, called Fruity Lip, which is like mm-hmm. Adobe go to the uh, editorial soundtrack uh, editorial software kit to stay. And one of my friend um, Nine Double Seven, um, whose name is Suraj, he's Mr K. You know Nip Cyrus, yes, Mr K. Usko Bahayo, and he really encouraged me to say, you know what, I think you should find a purpose and a passion. Mm. So because of what I went through, that music and that that domain was my distraction. It was really beautiful. Like it was a beautiful escape for me. And this particular gradually I started to hone into what my personality is, what I want to do, and all the confidence level when you grow they go. And I was like I started to enjoy doing like girly stuff. Uh, mm. when I went to college, you know, I had really beautiful friends that I met along the way who told me, okay, you dress logo, do you logo, you logo. Otherwise I'd be in baggy jeans and loose tops, you know, because do subconsciously just very fearful um and like uh, typical people pleasing characteristics they too oil and I'm really learning and on learning how to yeah. change that attribute in me I think a lot of our personality is shaped and honed in by our childhood experiences okay? mm. so that is one part where we have to do a lot of reflection on and every day more I'm 33 almost you know yeah but more and more I deep dive into how my parenting was, how, um, you know, availability and emotional unavailability of certain, um, you know, got, like parent figure has it had has had an impact on me. So it's very important to reflect that and try and sort of navigate your life yeah. that way. For me, music was that. Uh, fashion became the thing as well. And then I loved animals as well. Tupani, I felt like I was contributing. I was feeling more important when I served, when I found a purpose to help s- something that needed me. So it gave me a sense of belonging. Bonuna. So it's like now when you see my passion and my taste mm-hmm. in life, it's all a part of who I was as a child. Yeah. How I want to help women is because I felt a void back in the day. Mm. And I, I felt like I wasn't enough because I was always told, uh, not directly from my parents, I would say, but, uh, but indirectly, Nepal ko social dynamic is stones. Okay? You're getting multiple messages from the society telling you how to be, how not to be, mm-hmm. and so forth. So tell they go that um there's mixed messages that comes to you. Yeah. Right? And you, you don't know who you can be, who you want to be. That's why I want to be the voice for the vulnerable, mm-hmm. whether it's animals or women or men. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'm, I'm, I just want to help and be of help to everybody now. Well, thank you so much for summarizing, um, I guess, you know, the, the, the events that led up to the various things and now, you know, how you kind of choose to um, take certain activities and passion forward. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, what you said there was so important, um, bringing back to a lot of how we are shaped as adults are through our experiences in our childhood. Yeah. And it's unfortunate to hear about the, you know, um, the terrible things that you uh, happened when you were younger mm-hmm. um but sadly that is the reality of so many people yeah, so many people so many young girls uh yeah. um and you've touched on how in society there's an expectation for a woman to be a certain way yeah. and in addition to that in a nepali society being mm-hmm. a nepali woman mm-hmm. there's you know the intersection uh, of it you know mm-hmm. it's almost like uh, lessens women co role in so- yeah. in in our society yeah. um and you know you you have different families you're yeah. you've got a partner so you have you know different sets you're mm-hmm. juggling multiple roles identities Absolutely. and so on so how is that and also going on to you want to be i think you know you're you mentioned that you're in your early 30s now you're a lot more comfortable in your skin who you are what you're about using your voice mm-hmm. and we see that on social media you know you have a presence you have a stance and you're not afraid to speak up and share mm-hmm. about what you've been through or how someone made you feel mm-hmm. um and what is that like for you now because you know you've gone through a journey yeah um, I think psychologically, all of us, like especially women and men in, in so many social circumstances, also go through um, different challenges, different um, societal norms that they have to fight back. Uh, Tro Peru, 
kind of mm-hmm. nuances are that we need to break um for me obviously um it's so easy for women especially asian women to be categorized if they're slightly so sort of someone who's of different characteristics who are a bit outspoken bold and really kind of embrace their body so i think um mira social media is a reflection of my belief towards um uh, myself as a woman mm-hmm. i really believe in who i am i am proud of my body i'm not ashamed of it and whether i'm you know skinny like chubby fat or throughout the stages different stages of my life until the time i die i think i will always embrace my body and just encourage everyone to share and be comfortable on within their skin you know so a new idea uh, for a lot of people in our society do ekdam pasta na bosni guda on to you can't digest it up i've started to travel and sort of be more vocal or more expressive and more graphic about the the way i am i know about mirror pictures or everything i think people just see me as that again they instantly just put me in a box i've been in this world for 33 years and mm. you see like snippets of my life for 5 minutes mm. or 2 minutes and you literally judge me okay? and i think most women feel the same way um nearly boli ko tarika khai ko tarika we're getting judged at every step of the way about just i'm just going to take it back in time pehla um bonu na sun sunna pani kaile kai family members or sang deal garda pani when you're um a kid um ekjana aba dajju bhai le nai family matters mai इन्वल्व भएर बोल्यो भने ओहो कस्तो समझदार कस्तो भला आदमी कस्तो सिचुएसनलाई राम्ररी ह्यान्डल गर्ने त्यही सिचुएसनमा एउटा फिमेल केटी मान्छे आएर छोरी मान्छे आएर इन्भल्भ हुँदा फेरि कस्तो बर्ता बोल्ने जान्ने अलि बढी नै बोल्नुपर्छ त्यो भने सो यू सी लाइक हाउ त्यही सेम सिचुएसनमा अ मेन ह्यान्डलिङ द सिचुएसन इज टेकन रियली पोजिटिभली भर्सेज वुमेन ह्यान्डलिङ द सेम सिचुएसन इन द सेम मेनर इज टेकन आउट अफ प्रोपर्सन बिकज द्याट्स द्याट्स कम अक्रस टू असर्टिभ अनि मैले भने नि पहिला पनि मैले त्यसमा भनेको थिएँ नि एभ्री वन इज सो किन टू पुट वुमेन इन दिस बक्स के हामी हाम्रो आइडेन्टिटी इज सो uh deeply tied into uh, male gender as in um keta manche sanga matra hamro identity chai relied cha ke we're fully mm-hmm. dependent on that because two ideas sanga detach huni bitike it's like you're treated uh, the way widows are treated in nepal mm-hmm. i'm going to give mm-hmm. you a proper example about this is taking back uh, taking it back like way in time sati pratha thyo ni na aba ek gar abolished timro 1920 ma Mm-hmm. very very regressive practice cultural practice to the religion ko kura pani aina is really horrible even india as a sutoma it was abolished um, actually late 1800 ma aina nepal ma 1920 ma uba now the the idea that a woman's life has to end despite the fact that she's got kids and maybe an ecosystem to handle she 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 doesn't get to live in this world and she has to die in a funeral pyre along with her husband bani bas hamro astitva to ki pani rain santa our identity is entirely tied to a man how is that don mio kosko chori yeah you 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 never hear your mother's name being mentioned usually eh? yeah. unless she's like famous popular or charisma man and the go chori bani everybody knows because mm-hmm. mom's popular i know and but Usually so nimlam kosko chori kosko dulai kosko buari and joy le pani keta manche ke naam huncha ke yeah i've i've never had like someone say oh u rajani ko chori ho ki u pramod ko chori ho bhanya jasto ke huncha ni there's always my father's name mentioned it's like sano sano detail ma there's like men the whole society the patriarchal society is just so concentrated on men and anything that we do differently is to go that's like female life ni यस्तो तरिकाले ग्रुम गर्दा छ कि दैट एज वुमेन वी हेट वन अनदर वी सो अफ आई वुड से डिस्क्रिमिनेट अगेन्स्ट वन अनदर एन्ड त्यो मिसोजनी इन्टरनलाइज गरेर हुन्छ नि केटी मान्छेले केटी मान्छेलाई घृणा गर्ने कि ओहो यो किन बढ्दा भए यो किन स्मार्ट भए यो किन यस्तो भए आफ्नो ठाउँमा बस्नुपर्छ नि केटी मान्छे भएपछि अ खुट्टा यु नो खुट्टा सो आई वान्ट आस्क यू अ क्वेस्चन किनभने अब हामी नि जो मान्छे जसरी हामी एउटा सोसाइटीमा नै अब यु नो 
the power of patriarchal society yeah. is so deeply seeped that I'm not hane you know yeah. or because we've been so conditioned to it mm-hmm. you know uh dun uh, which you kind of implied to a lot of uh women uh a lot of people from different genders and so on we yeah. may not realize that thara yeah. but har ek 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 cheez ma kanun bata nai yo built in bhako cha ta an tei bhaira hami le tyo alikati tha na paako pani huna sakcha kati lai hai na last ma chai we turn on against each other pani um tara you know there comes a point in time ko ko koi koi lai chai that you realize actually this is not the way how you start seeing yeah. why is it why is everything so gendered why is everything so um you know favorable towards men yeah. right now yeah. only men like to about okay to be bana asta you know that um uh छोरा मान से बोले भाई आहा लीडरशिप देखा खाले छोरी मैं बोले भाई क्या धीरे करा खाली स्टेपिंग आउट अफ अ लाइन खाले भाई खाले आपू में है यू मेन्शन दैट सानों में यू आर शाय एंड सो वन है बट अलॉंग द वे थ्रू डिफ्रेंट पैशन पर्स्यूट्स एंड सो वन थिंग स्टार्ट इट हेपनिंग लाइफ में वी नो दैट वी डोट जस्ट वेक अप वन डे एंड वर लाइक सो स्ट्रॉग खाल इट्स यू नो इट्स अ बिल्ड अप अफ सो मेनी मोमेंट्स है बट वेन इट कम्स टू दिस रेकग्नाइजिंग और रेकग्नेशन ऑफ यू नो सींग हाउ स्क्यूड आर सोसाइटी इज एंड मोर सो विद इन आर नेपाली सोसाइटी वेन वॉज इट फॉर यू और यू नो वट वर सम ऑफ द थिंग्स और वॉज इट दी experiences and moments that you've mentioned i think it's been a gradual process actually there's not like the um, a um, cathartic moment but it's a one off could as a boy nahi it's been a gradual movement i've lived my last in a life in a very fast lane bon about i started you know i settled got married quite early 19 my had my registry done by the age of 25 i was married and not nice was it ki maile छो अब छोरी मत नुहारी को भूमिका निभाएर बस आसमें इन अ वेरी आई वुड से डाइवर्स जेनरेशनल गैप भक्को सोसाइटी में अब वेर यू नो माइन लोज हेफ माइ ग्रेडेड फ्रम नेपाल देव लिव देर फर फोर्टी फिफ्टी अर्ड इयर्स माइ हजब बोर्न एंड रेज हियर एंड देन हिज अल्सो गोइंग थ्रू हिज ओन आइडेन्टिटी सर्ट अफ एक्सप्लोरेशन जर्नी कुछ बेला में क्राइसिस होज ए नेपाली ब्रिटिश नेपाली एंड सो फोर्थ सो इट्स बीन अ मैसिव लर्निंग कर्व तर वन अफ भाई आई थिंक इट्स रियलाइजिंग आपको पोटेन्सियल बिकज दिस दिस सम होमवर्क यू नीड टू डू एज अ वुमन एज वर्क क्योंकि डिस्पाइट अल द चैलेंजेस एवं कुछ म दीदी बहन के भूनो करियर म कह जु मैं के आपूला सेल्फ सस्टेनेबल र फाइनेंशियली सस्टेनेबल बना सकु तो लग्नपर्यो पढ़े मात्र होने फर मी एकेडेमी वॉज वॉज द थिंग बट फर यू इट कुड बी अ भडकास्ट इट कुड बी यू नो मडलिंग फैशन वट एवर दैट मे बी फिलानथ्रोपी वट एवर दैट मे बट आई थिंक यू हेव टू फाइंड दैट पर्पज एंड um find a way where you're not highly dependent on your family who tell you what to do constantly and also your future partners um who come and sort of try and dictate what you need to be doing kind of need your self sufficiency say financial fulfillment and all all also sense of purpose all kiti um fixed by your sake because she's on the risk and gradually your confidence also then you can tackle it aba madhyam la bhanchu नेपाल सासू बुहारी सासू ससुरा सब बस्ने अथवा आमा बुआस बस्ने दीदी बहनी थुप्रो हो डक्टर्स ब्रिलियंट बैंकर्स दिस दैट ते आई हेफ गन एंड सीन वहाँ अल्लेम हम मून साइको को नछुनी होता फिर कोठा में आने नपाने सर्टन अब रिचुअल्स में पार्टेक कर नपाने इट्स लाइक यो एजुकेटर यूव गर अल द एमिनेशन वाई आर्ट यू फाइटिंग बैक सो जस्ट बिकज you 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 have a livelihood or you have a profession doesn't mean you're you're like gonna uh, eradicate all of this like mal practices i think it's a mindset you have to gradually understand on your ko kura ma what i want to just bring this on to perspective ki hamro yo samasya cha nepal ma pani obviously it's grave situation for most of the women but i just zoom out let's mm. say this is the world i'm going to zoom out and we're like just dots हमारे yeah. समस्या बने के सानों समस्या मेरे लिए ठूल हो बदन तो ठूल बना गए तो मैं मेरे मेन्टल हेल्थ तो जेपटी में आँच अने आई केम टू दैट पोजिशन आज लाइक ओ माई गॉड के गोर हेन्डल करने आई हेफ टू बी द बेस्ट बुहारी आई हेफ टू बुद बी द बेस्ट छोरी बेस्ट भाजू हाउ डू आई पर्फेक्ट माई सेल्फ बट इफ आई वॉन्ट बी द वे आई वॉन्ट बी लाइक हाउ आई पोर्ट्रे माई सेल्फ गोइंग आउ लिविंग अ वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड एवरीथिंग एवरी वन गोना थिंक आम अ डब्ल्यूएच डट डट ओर समथिंग यू नो हाउ डू आई लाइक सो अफ Um, carefully craft my personality. Just to one event, but you've got to be ready for battle. But I don't know. World Cup, I think. Or else, 
situation um, Iran ko ayo mm-hmm. they've literally burka no laga ko situation mail woman gets killed you know mm-hmm. it was it was like morality police yeah. that's this by big issues there i mean i am not the first woman in the world to be criticized mm-hmm. every woman has had their fair share of struggles so i'm not going to make my my situation unique and i'm just going to look at these women as source of inf- inspiration i'm all i'm going to do is i'm going to fight but maile garnu parne karma mo garchu tyo mero kaam ho tyo mero dharma ho dharma bhane seva ma pani huna sakcha dharma bhane actual dharma ma pani huna sakcha tyo mero boli ma hola tyo maile kosa lai dine shraddha ma hola ra maile garni kunai express garni vocalize garni kura ma hola so i will do my part on a similar i'm just going to bring you back up malala just to Mm-hmm. Nile, like you know she's she made a huge change and she got shot for doing what she did she wasn't doing anything on unethic- unethical i know so there's so many situations yeah and i just realized oh my god extremes extreme situation now but there's a case of this um woman in afghanistan her name is i think ariana said or someone she all she does for perfect like is is sings she mm-hmm. sings she sings without a burqa and a hijab and they she gets death threats yeah. for doing that and the thing is mero situation that is to kharab to hain na i'm in a position to help so my le mero privilege bani recognize garnu pary kina bani women who've been raped women who've suffered domestic violence and everything they've had it worse mm-hmm. i've had it worse i've had it worse but i i i have pulled myself up yeah. so now i want to be of help and that is why i think having these open conversations increasing your uh, women circle um having like tete a tete conversations all the you know your baini chara didi chara go concept sisterhood go concept say um hamle explore garde um when you genuinely have open conversations even kin bani afni sathi circle ma pani kati kura ma say um sometimes i go to some friends house and i see like clearly there is too massive gender gap huncha ke ghar ma husband le ke pan nagarni it's so traditional huncha ni aba khayo प्लेट उचाले सिंक में लगे धुन पर्ने हो दीदी बहनी को अवस्था एंड एम लाइक ओ माई गॉड बट तिमी तिमला तस्तु दुख तिमला योर योर फिलिंग बर्न आउट एट होम साइकोलॉजिकली योर लाइक गो यू माइट हेव बीन गोइंग थ्रू पोस्ट पार्टम इश्यूज दिस दैट यू माइट हेव बीन गोइंग थ्रू रियली मैसेव लाइक सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन चैलेंजेस एंड सो फोर बट यू डोट रियलाइज दैट नाउ आई नीड टू मे बी tell him to stop and start being involved in yeah. everything in life so i think um one thing just i know i've gone off on a tangent but one thing my no, mom no. says and mom's always said to me thori man se lai jai chutchi banaunu re raise your daughters to be fierce for god knows they're going to need it every second of the way yeah. and i think that's what i'm learning ke mala aba even until 2 3 years ago um, within my family uh, from my husband side i was getting pointed at for wearing certain type of clothes ke ani maile mero response ke thyo ni maile nibaunu parne bhumika maile nibhaeko chu maile char bar ma buhari ko bhumika nibaunu parne ma mu nibhaeko chu bhauju hunu parne ma ma bhauju bhaeko chu chori hunu parne ma ma chori bhaeko chu tara malai ho na deu na yeah just let me be that is my choice I have my full mirror mirror body prati mirror full autonomy you know but no one yeah. can dictate that and I'm sorry like just take your patriarch patriarchic like notions away from it and I think lately people find me more aggressive but the cost on on the reason to nil da nil da nil da nil da aba okal no bani sama hai ke i can't do it anymore no i think no i really admire um you know individuals like yourself who are kind of putting it out there whether it's and it's it's so simple man say le tithi saro tyo dherai dhyan no dela hai na they might just be thinking e you know ulle ta bajol the ramailo goreko ma ta photo haleko cha ulle beach ka ko photo holiday or you know sukha dukha ko photo hale cha but then with every post with every um you know paragraph and so on you're sharing and that it becomes a bridge to connect with somebody else who can start thinking differently who yeah. can start being like actually ho ta yo shiksha matra paye ra ta ki ho ta you know if i'm not uh, implementing to give it's a question certain uh-huh. norms and so on you know uh-huh. and the way that you're embracing your sexuality your femininity your womanhood you know um and all that and i think a person can be all that you know a yeah. woman can be all that but yeah. it's like when a woman um enjoys herself it's almost like now you it's an too much by your khalko banne khalko tyo dharana dherai thau ma cha and much more uh, on the social landscape within our nepali community yeah. Ra- oh sorry i'll uh, cut you out ne eura ramailo kura garchu ke 
Nepalma owns and you have Biaba in a bonnet, through the Tulu grounds and Kitty Mansu. Look at the way these um, women are born uh, or ra- raised, Bonuna. They take it out, some Kura Nogorai, body noble like it has. And the next thing you know, after she passes her adolescent, Biaba, I know. A kid has some Kure Nogoron, Bonibis, Ekujina, how do you expect the woman oh to get God, married? Yeah. It's like, it's so dysfunctional the way we're like brought up. Yeah. Only, uh, well, it's the, like do the, nothing and then actually do something. Uh, now. The other thing, I mean, even like like I think Western society, I watched this documentary about Mar- Marilyn Monroe, and like you know how she was the epitome of this glamorous woman and like mm-hmm. beauty and so forth. But she's had it rough, really rough. Only Ulaipani. People took pleasure out of her sexuality, her her expression of you know what what women should be like, and they really th- she thrived off it. Obviously, she she made uh, illegal equivalent millions of pounds off what she did. Third two time when she started owning her own sexuality, they called her something mm-hmm. this, mm-hmm. something that. So already say I'm her sexuality saying pony. When we start to own it, they have a problem with that. For God's sake, why? Mm. Why? Yeah. And I think I, I really appreciate women in trade, you know, like women who are prostitutes, who are licensed prostitutes, Amsterdam. Why is there a situation now? I think we're realizing that, you know what, it's your body. Mm-hmm. You can do yeah. what what you want to. I, um, I know a couple of women who are doing only, only, fans, only fans as well. Yeah. Go, go girl, mm-hmm. go girl, because that's your livelihood. You're looking after maybe... You know your family through yeah. that. So Gorana talks about Gora, Gora, I don't know why the sexual hypersexualization is just deemed as such a disgusting thing. Get you why not? Do you know? Yeah. Why yeah. not? Because when Burka lay there, boss is like, "Get him and slap him to rape by that." Santa. So girl, take us go Burka lay on him. Get rape girl, him and chico. I think we detach away from the mindset. Get to demonic mindset. Zoom to patriarchic mindset. Sunny to just just man. Man is the ultimate like power. He has to be. He has to grant the right to for you to decide and everything. Do mm-hmm. do power body get just men being like the supreme power. Yeah. Sorry, I might sound like very very <laughs> anti men. I know. Uh, no, no, okay. The uh, problem lies there. Yeah. No. Definitely. Um. Yeah. I think. I think it's it's that. Um. We look down on like I think yeah people don't want <laughs> women to be able to have that ability to make that choice oh. whether you want to whether you embrace being a sex worker and enjoying that mm-hmm. um because we simply think that's immoral and yeah. where is that coming from yeah. you know? uh, or whether a woman just wants to you know have a simple life yeah. it's almost yeah. like you know we're, we're putting too much on uh, on the plate of women and the other thing that i wanted to kind of uh, touch on is um we don't have to specifically go towards your um, uh, partner's family. But mm-hmm. uh, uh, you came out home, and you yeah. came out of uh, uh, the Nepali diaspora, and you grew up in the 70s, 80s, and you grew up in the 70s, 80s, and you grew up in the 70s. के हद सम्म मलाई चाहिँ मेरो एक्सपीरियन्समा लाग्छ कि दट हामी सधैं अघि भने जस्तो के एजुकेशन र एजुकेटेड भए र मात्र हुँदैन घरमा चाहिँ वी आर स्टिल बाउन्ड बाइ अल अफ दट एन्ड सम अफ अस डोन्ट च्यालेन्ज इट र नेपाल छोडेर युके मा बसेर 20 30 40 वर्ष कटाए तापनि कतिपय चाहिँ हामी कसको घरहरुमा चाहिँ त्यो लेभल्स अफ कन्जर्भेटिभ एटिट्युड्स ओर यु नो द क्वेशनिङ चाहिँ नि स्टिल प्रेभलेन्ट छ हैन केही हदसम्म त झन् कडा पनि छ हैन त्यहाँ उहाँहरुको आफ्नै अब रासनल छ होला वाई भनेर तर हाउ हेभ यु फेल्ट किनभने अब टाढाबाट हेर्ने मान्छेले त अब दे माइट थिङ्क ओ पेपर त अब बेलायतमा बस्छिन हैन अनि उ त अब एउटा बुहारी भएर पनि अब उसको त परिवारहरू हैन बिकज पहिलेदेखि नै अब युके मा बस्दै आएका भएर उहाँहरू त ओपन माइन्डेड फ्री छ होला त्यही भएर त्यही भएर लास्टमा चाहिँ उसलाई फ्री छोड्यो होला हैन राधर देन यु डिसाइडिङ टु बी आम अ फ्री वुमन इट्स लाइक फ्री छोड्यो होला भन्ने खालको धारणा पनि कतिमा आउँछ होला नि त एक्चुअली सुरु सुरुमा एन्ड आई आई होप आई क्यान बी क्यान्डिड एन्ड आई नो मेरो सासु you video hairshins all i think um i went to into a family where there are no daughters like four sons i know so um paila before i get into my family eura kura chai maile general nepali diaspora who have been here for a longer period of time mirror observation ke cha bhane one first generation jo move bhay ni waharle 40 50 barsha agadi move garnu bho अनि नेपाल उहाँहरुको त्यो एउटा इमेजिनरी बबल मा हुनुहुन्छ त्यो नेपाल जे छोडेर आछ नि 
तो फर्किदा फिर नेपाल तस्त रहोस् यहाँ को नेपाली कम्युनिटी भी तस्त हो भाई धारणा अब पैला सारी धोती बेर बस्ने वाले कति ठाव में तस्त हो सोचिशला जाना फिर नेपाल्स लाइक प्रोग्रेसिव इट्स अमेजिंगली प्रोग्रेसिव एंड इफ आई कैन बी फ्रैंक एंड वेरी कैंडिड हियर एक्चुअली आई फाइंड अ लॉर अफ द फैमिली वाल्यूज हियर वेरी रिग्रेसिव नेपाली डाइसपोरा में यहाँ काठमंडू ररू ने अरु पार्ट्स में भाग यहाँ धेरे रिग्रेसिव कूटनीति धेरे कुछ फर मी मेरो मेरे पर्सनली मैं मेरे डाइनामिक कसरी चेंज कराए भादा भी माइन्टीन थे है वन आई केम इन एंड एक्चुअली सुरू सुरू में गाड़ो भो बिकज अब स्वाभाविक हो सासू ससुरा यो कर अब यह हिसाब से करो भो इच्छा सब में हो आई थिंक आई हेव अ वेरी ओपन लाइन अफ कन्वर्सेशन विथ मम्मी एंड बुआ सुरू सुरू में मैं गाड़ो भो वहाँ मैं भादा फिर कई चित्त बुझाऊँ बुझाऊ अब छोटो लुगा लगा फिर कहीं क्या मोमू ने भिन्थे कि तर मैं भोमो चाड़बाड़ में लाने कुर्ता साड़ी तो ठाँ ठाव में हजार बुहारी चाहिए म बुहारी जो भर आईहाल्स म बाहर गए बेला मैं तो यहाँ को सोसाइटीसंग घुमिल होने तो हजार बुझ् पर्चे एक्चुअली टू बी अनेस्ट मेरे सास ससुरा चाह गड गड सेंट अ एकदम समझदार हो मेरे एफर्ट भी गा तर वहाँ को विलिंगनेस विलिंगनेस टू चेंज इट वॉज एन इजी एंड आई डोट वॉन्ट गेट इन टू द डिटेल अभी मैं अस्त एकजना सोचा थे कि ए पेपर तिमला तो तिम्रो फैमिली ने बिकिनी लाने दिं तिमला के कसले के भर बिकिनी लाने तो दी सेन हो चित्त भी बुझा थे तर मैं लगाए लगाए मैं लगाए पे मेरे सीस्टर इन लोजर हमें फैमिली हलिडे में ज्यादा फिर लगाऊ एंड एक्चुअली यू नो वट बीच में बस बोला वट डू यू डू के यू कवर योर सेल्फ विद तन्ना यू डोट डू दैट यू डू इट एंड एक्चुअली ना वे हेव नर्मलाइज द थिंग इज मैं राख् पर्ने रिस्पेक्ट सम्मान वहाँ वहाँ को दायरा में वहाँ को एटा वहाँ इज्जत दिए राखे आई थिंक देर सेफ दे नो अभी हमें ते हो कि तर भूमिका धे भूमिका खेल पर्व एज अी वुमेन इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड देन मैं सुरू सुरू में चैलेंजेस के भाई मई हजबेंड बिंग बोर्न रेज हियर रेज हियर ही वॉन्ट्स दिस मॉडर्न नेपाली वुमेन वर्सेज अब मई सासू ससुरा हेज लाइक दी एक्सपेक्टेशन अफ अ ट्रेडिशनल नेपाली गर्ल सो हाउ डू यू प्ले दैट बोथ रोल्स इन सोसाइटी हो यू वन गो आउट फर योर करियर यू वन गो बी अ गो गेटर एंड दिस एंड दैट एंड जस्ट बिलोंग एंड सो ऑफ अडेप्ट टू योर हजबेन्ड्स सर्कल लाइक गेट ऑन विद द ब्रिट्स एंड गिव इ द लारी ओ डू यू डू यू जस्ट लाइक सो ऑफ गो बैक टू योर कुकून एंड बी नेपाली एंड देन जस्ट जस्ट कीप योर लाइक ट्रेडिशनल नेपाली साइड ऑफ द फैमिली हेप्पी सो वी हेव टू प्ले डिफ्रेंट पार्ट्स के कें द वे द टाइम आई हंग आउट विथ माई हजबेन्ड्स लाइक ब्रिटिश फ्रेंड्स दे डिडेंट रियली एसोसिएट विथ माई नेपाली साइड सो आई हेड टू लर्न टू सो ऑफ जस्ट टू लाइक यो डिफ्रेंट सो ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रम अफ पीपल भन न एंड दी अदर थिंग इज इट्स अल्सो बुझ् पर्ने कुरा चाहे के भोकलाइज कर बोलने पर्च होके ओके भोकलाइज कर बोलने पर्च एंड इफ यू डोट स्पीक कम्युनिकेट एंड बाउंड्री सेट करेन यू नो एवरी वन कैन जस्ट यू नो ब्रिच दैट बाउंड्री सो वी वी जस्ट नीड टू मेक श्योर वी स्टैंड अप फर आर ओन सेल्व इज वॉ दैट इज सो ट्रू आई थिंक वट यूड मेन्शन एंड समराइज देर एज अ होल आई नो यू नो If we live long and if we live till the end, there's so many roles that yeah. we play. Mm-hmm. But then we're not only playing one role at one time; uh-huh. we're playing multiple roles interchangeably. Yeah. Yeah. And I think somewhere along the line, I think we need to, or I think we get better at identifying. Actually, I'm not this just this one person. Yeah. Ma biya baaye pasadi or maile nani baaye pasadi mata ba yu euta matra hai nanta. I still need to tap into the self that I was ten yeah. years ago before yeah. I had a kid or before yeah. I was married. Do dichotomy, honey? Mm-hmm. It's very difficult, okay? and you will see different avatars of yourself like just manifesting you've got to do that you've got to do that mm-hmm. and when in rome do his romans so afu ja ja sa tyo ansar ran san ansar timle tyo thau ko respect rakhdinu parcha ti tyo thau ko man maryada maile mero ghar ma gobisi mero saas sasura le bhane ansar gardinu parcha baira garda fer malai no one can dictate why le pin tyo gura ko respect garnu parcha and actually we have a fair balance and i think tyo balance milauna sakinchha but as as an adult or nepali adult एवटा कुछ अलग कुछ बुर्जक हेन भाषा वहाँ बुझ् पर्ने के कुछ सब कुछ यहाँ को कंट्रोल में होते हैं कि दे नीड टू रियली स्टार्ट लेरिंग गो अभी कंट्रोल वहाँ रिटेन कर खोज दैट्स वेन देर विल बी फ्रिक्शन इन रिनेसनशिप्स के 
So you 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 just need to let the bird out of the cage and they will come back if they really love you. They mirror mirror belief say to us okay. Um just just one other note as well. I think um with the diaspora here as well. Usually like a culturization one because it dominant culture le um um minority culture like kati khera override gorsa tyo sko chai usually the acculturization go process chai three generations under is okay so mero family ma here from my husband sides it it's already three generation mm. in fact aba ami soon maybe four generations in the next yeah. one or two decade that the hero books are all like so you just realize there's there's loads of changes happening you know we've got interracial marriages we've got um uh, really different people making different decisions different family dynamics different educational or professional pursuit i know people recognizing with the culture people not recognizing with the culture people confiding more as british and less is nepali people but we have yeah. to accept all yeah, of, of course, it as yeah. it comes hunsa mm. ni there is a lot of challenges but out of the whole situation my le eura kura consistent they has it the treatment of women and how women still take that seat back mm-hmm. and then you know we were trying to do a tiktok video there were some men like uh, you know um, men around mm-hmm. us and men from the family around us and we 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 didn't do it okay and i realized to as it in skina go banda fi kin when oh we're still conscious about what we're going to be told oh okay let's not go off our limits so to kura chai i think um, even he born raised mero nani haru baini haru jo jo unsa family ma they find it like oh how can she do that Yeah. You know, but we've got to do it. We've got yeah. to do it sisters because it's going to be easier for the daughters that are going to come in our lives. Yeah. No, so it's so steep to Let let me be the martyr, mo sahi do. Mo and welcome to the world of feminism. Everybody mm. hates you. Everybody hates you. Let them hate you. Mhm. Talking about Welcome to A Star. Your complete financial solution. The A stands for first class service and the star relates to you. Our most important clients. We are a team of whole market advisors with more than 10 years of excellent service. Serving nationwide, we specialized in home mortgages and remortgages, wills and estate planning, residential sales and lettings, property management, real estate, insurances and pensions. for both personal and business financial advices please feel free to contact us for consultant we look forward to working with you a star financial solution making your move memorable this episode of action with podcast is brought to you by our gold partner a star Financial Solutions UK, who'll support you on your journey to expand your property portfolio. Thanks to our silver partner TapTap Tap Send, with great rates, zero fee, and instant transfers, sending money to Nepal has never been easier. Use the code Ikchin10 for a ten pound bonus. Download the app today. Tap Tap and send now. Big mention to our silver partner New Lakshmi Jewelers, home to a stunning range of jewelry collection and timeless pieces from the heart of Aldershot. Our bronze partners, Nepal Authentic Dining, where delicious Nepali food is served at Shepherd's Bush and Boston Manor, and our bronze partner Nepali Music Festival UK 2022 taking place at the Harrow Leisure Center on December 16 with Trishna Gurung, Ekdev Limbu, Sabin Rai and the Pharaoh. Enjoy the episode. about feminism and talking about i guess you know, you've you've addressed a lot of things you know on this my say but i'd also like to ask you you know traditionally you work in a sector where there aren't many men mm. or you know traditionally there aren't as many men but you yeah. know in the in the past few years maybe things have slightly changed a bit yeah. but tell us what you do and mm-hmm. what the work setup is like yeah. um yeah yeah so i work as a marketing director for a cloud company company um oh that was like slip of tongues to buy in so the, my company is called uh, vmware um and we went recently went through like the world's second largest tech acquisition so women wow. in tech actually they're giving me a lot of hope so i think in terms of involvement in tech i think i let's say the gender gap ru pay gap ru ramri fulfill huna thali guso and it's such a breath of fresh air but i started my career working um in sales and marketing for a fintech mm-hmm. and we had association with engineering industry and there oh my god the environment was so so um 
really discouraging and it was so uh, male dominant um a lot of politics gender politics if you ask me you know to for me to see that change it felt like my nepal but your western society my move or that for me i was like you know what struggles the same Mm. struggles the same and i've been sort of talking to a lot of my friends who are doing like really well in terms of their profession and especially you um, asian women are they are um era time ma aira they're getting to their career peak on it this ma swat break lagna halaris okay and that is because there's this docility myth about asian women submissive Oh, they want it. They man need. They're just general, very agreeable people. They're not like um, uh, very argumentative. This to debate or nick halka mo dina. They're like very loyal and honest people. There, whereas now, as as women realize that they've got more potential and they need equal pay as men, or they 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 need to be promoted, uh, not just because you know um, they're women or they're under certain affirmative ac- action because of their merit. Tio Kuraru, once they put into the strategic, you know, board, board ma, table mm-hmm. ma rakta firi se, a lot of women, Asian women are getting backlash because their yeah. idea and notion about that docile, submissive Asian women is wrong. Yeah. And this is women fighting back on different levels. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, yeah, yeah. I've had managers, very sexist managers, um, and I was working as a marketing manager or you know, a company ma. Can you do a twirl for me when I wore a dress? Really? Can you do a oh, twirl gosh. for me? Wow. I've had lots of situations. So, to um, to patriarchic notion, to every step of the way, we're going to have to deal with it for years to come. It's not going to be easy. And we might think like UK is so so progressive. But just think about it. Like until um, I think late nineties or nineteen eighty nine, it was legal for a man to rape his wife. I mean that's just really bang out of order. So, Amrupani, we think, oh, Western society is all like you know, all for equality and everything. No, we've 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 all got to see it in flesh and blood, kid. So, um, but don't let that be a detractor. You do what you have to do, and I would say, career-wise, say if you start one career, um, first five years of your career, which I wasn't able to do, I would request everyone to just keep moving. Every mm-hmm. year, two year, because that gives you that length and breadth of experience that that puts you in different sort of positions where you know what your strengths and weaknesses are, and then you start to sort of just believe in like um, strength based leadership. Zaf no strengths to te on sar you you start to lead, and that's what's happened in my case as well. Because I studied like business management, I had a little bit of IT background, but I gave up my studies in America. I came here, I had two years age gap. Malay para ko sa ilibin ba ni na? I I did that for myself. Ani zaba ma ay I start people you know when I couldn't find jobs or graduate scheme after I graduated. Oh receptionist ba ni onsa? Oh yo gara te yo gara parno na parno parno na zano agari abo kapal katna si ke onsa yo gari onsa te not to say every profession is equal mere lagi sab barabar but I wanted to pursue academia te isko lagi malay encouragement ay na so you gotta be your sole force of encouragement ani When I did that, my graduate scheme at Auda Gorda Ferry, but I no pay for it. Say, you know, people would just tell you, "Pound it, no, Gorda, no, no Gorda." And I started my career as a sales and marketing administrator. Okay, this, but yeah, I gradually moved because I I knew I was capable of doing that. So you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to keep on learning. Soon as you get comfortable, like I said the last time, time to move. move. Yeah. Those are, you know, you've got, you've given so many valuable advices there. So I hope to anyone who's listening and who feels a bit kind of like, okay, what do I do? Or I feel slightly stuck. Then please take those advices. Yeah, um, and, yeah, you know, and feel free end, to reach out to me, or Lex, man. We're yeah, doing well. <laughs> um, you know, at the end of the day, like you have to push yourself. You yeah. know, you have to kind of um, sit there with yourself. That might be the hardest thing to do. Yeah, sit there in silence and really understand, like, um, figure out what you want. Yeah, I right? know. Otherwise, half the time you're just. Um, living life subconsciously through expectations mm-hmm. or questions and res- uh, and requests of others yeah. and uh, you know after a while it's going to bog you down because you're not going to enjoy that life yeah. um so i think you know we all need to do a bit of homework mm-hmm. um equally um uh, you know i want to really t- touch back into what you said about your kind of reflection and views on the nepali diaspora in the uk mm-hmm. um Pepper has worked or you know when I first met Pepper uh, you were working for the embassy of Nepal in mm-hmm. London mm-hmm. um so I think through that experience as well you've had a very um 
you know valuable um unique insight into yeah. nako uh community uh cosities and uh navigate navigate on and plus being part of a family who's been in the uk for yeah. quite a number of years mm-hmm. i just want to mention this because mm-hmm. people might be thinking hey, you know you came go out at the cosity story but then i mm-hmm. i do feel like actually because she has had this unique um position oh, uh, to, to see things and so on and and you know the, the network that you hold um it's not just within the gorka community as well but you know it's uh communities whether it's the newa population and so on as well yeah um mm. um and moving on to um you are passionate uh but not just passionate you are someone who's actively doing things to you know uh to safeguard animals i right? know to safeguard dogs especially uh, not just in kathmandu as well but mm-hmm. kathmandu by the pony yeah. right now uh, and this matin this love for animals eh, uh, where did it begin and obviously it's such a it's a question like you know when when did you learn to love banasta but then obviously not everyone is pro you know passionate about dogs that they will do something nita yeah. but you're not just liking an update but you're actually pushing for things yeah actually that's very interesting i've always had dogs in my house so tamil ma uh, i think we went through about 3 to 4 very beloved pets um we had pigeons we had parrots we had uh, pigs we had mice wow. we had like mice paliko kitika aune paliko paliko aune pani thyo but aune lai bhagaun thyo baru we had uh, we didn't have cats actually but now i've got cats um so i think a little bit of it um is uh, a shared passion a mutual passion shared between my dad and my mom and everybody um also miro thulwa is veterinarian and he uh, was in charge of tripureshwar gudze whole animal uh, welfare unit um, nepal government associated so i used to go and spend some time there mm-hmm. and he had uh, i think he was a vaccine scientist actually so but he had mice and guinea pigs in like thulu thulu building ma unthyo ge and they did a lot of research and everything i don't agree to the whole animal testing process but that is where i sort of found this like uh, buried love for animals or mm-hmm. kokura I'm reiterating um I think growing up as a child because of alikiti emotional unavailability from certain sort of parent figures um ke gorni kura hudaina thyo ke so you found like something to occupy yourself with the nepal ma aba strays or kati huncha sano puppies or ani ma pachi bela dekhi chai that made me feel like I had a sense of purpose and i think it was it was that emptiness within me that i was trying to recover from yeah and mali lera era i used to like you know groom them nurture them and pachi to kira bag theri bag na say based on what my mom oh. says you know but i've always wanted to heal things it's really weird and joy living mo kukur bhusha kukur ne chapere in theri ge so um yeah that's where it came from and uh, i've been involved in multiple rescues um, sterilization program nepal ma uh, 2019 ma when i went with my um, app ar and vr app that uh, me and my partner basically uh, pushed for visit nepal 2020 um one year my let's say i went through this journey of self reflection and every day i used to um uh, sort of partake in one of my friend jets initiative which is called project fade so fade stands for feed a dog every day and he really Really inspired me to actually give back to the community because I meet Zan's home to Timira. I'm just a man. See, we just spend our like money, live this like lavish lifestyle, go visit this place, that place. But are we really giving back to the community? How do we do that? How do we go back to the ground level? So every day, just to say, Mira, I'm only kind of bragging to. I would go to Naran Tour in Noxal and feed a dog, um, a few dogs, and few few other dogs around the area. One of my favorites was Jimmy. I even went back to find him, but unfortunately, I think um, he's. in heaven now hmm. but i've been involved in rescue and i really really love it and the plight of uh, you know street dogs in kathmandu in nepal over 30000 dogs so it's an atay scenario reverse kara imagine hami manchhuru khana na paira latta khaira chichi dur dur garera you know in the rain in the storm like no one to look after never been touched hugged or anything how would we feel and it's the same and my other kura bhanchha ke mani smurkha cha because we think we're supreme we're not we're not we have to share this world with animals they were here as long as we are here so what gives us the right that we we kind of go around and boss boss these places and just build houses and then just try to wipe them off yeah i know hamili even the our kathmandu ma aile rabies go big big how can it happen that in 21st century kathmandu in an outskirts of kathmandu we're having we're getting a lot of dogs with rabies how can that happen 
I've lost a distant family mem member to rabies and it's no, not no, pleasant. So sad. I tell you, human beings are greedy. Yeah. And we only look out for our... Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So I think... Um, our Sano Amro initiative Libani, Nepal Mazi, help Igdum Tulu Matra Mahunsagi. So yeah. do whatever you can. And um, every year I try and go back now, swap my European holidays to yeah. Nepali visits. And I try and go back. Um, you know, there's really wonderful people from Irfan to Tulabai, mm. is, is very dear to me. Um, and Srijana Didyuru, Sneha Didyuru, they're doing a wonderful job. Let's, let's just go and help them. To yeah. some extent, kino ni wala bhar kam unsa ke. Gorno sakni ta ami. We can only do to a certain extent of time, but um, we 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 should go and give back. Whether it's orphanage, yeah. whether it's education, whether it's exchange of ideas, let's just go back and just um encourage and like sort of embody and instill and inject mm. that culture of nurturing our society. You yeah, know? and I definitely want to add that you know what, Harik Bektile Goira on the ground AK Nogarna Sakepani, Hami already Nepal Mats Hobane or Hamiye UK Ma Bosera. A lot of us are entering a very comfortable uh, point in our lives in the UK where we're earning, you know, well, good, etc. Mm -hmm. You know, you you have a house and stuff right now. Yeah. A lot of people do have a house, mm -hmm. etc. Um, so people can actually make contributions, Absolutely. make financial donations and so on. Because at least a lot of Nepal registered charities that they are working with very little grants. Uh, yeah. there isn't that whole big giving culture UK UK registered charities And this might say even that one thousand rupees or few thousand rupees that you will donate will make a difference. Yeah, I mean you because did Tracing is, Nepal. I do Tracing Nepal and remarkable. I do so many different charities. Yeah. But I this is one research that I still want to do. What's yeah. the giving culture from the diaspora like? You know, um, <sighs> kina bani. This might say, I feel like, um, yeah, it's, it's something that I don't know. Uh, but equally, I do know that Harik Bhakti jo Nepal Janssen or I mean, in UK ma holiday gada pani, holiday gada pani, we spend a lot of money on things that we don't even remember. Like alcohol, like food, like people's, you know, spending money on cigarettes and stuff like that, you know. And this matter ni, even like 2,000 rupees matter ni, Donate karnu pari wane pani na junsen even a young adult can do an uh -huh. eighteen or nineteen year old na ah tiu karu wane sabe dana le ali ali karu wane pani that would make such a big Oof. difference because you know what it, it's not a life changing thing ni no. what we're trying to do it's it's as simple as you know that feeding a dog every day yeah right? Yeah, um, exactly. And that kind of, you know, those rupees will make a big difference. They are community dog. They're not strays. And same ways, or I just want to add one more thing. Um Nepal Ma Puja. Oh, lavish puja. It's yeah. it's a statement, social statement, and it's they're grandos. Oh. Um so to to lavishly spend on us that this might do your zarbani if you can contribute yeah. to a charity, feed the innocent people, Pospati Magora, to a Birdash from Magorni, the Tuprizan on the but I see unnecessary expenditure. Timle Dharma Gorna Ponson, Dharma Nogore, I know. There are already reasonably, already rationally Goruna. Only the way we do our pujas, plastic, unsustainable, doop, yo, too, I know. Gora, there are plastic com Gora, Kuni, maybe, Evraki, um. Positive influence later on, I know. Can we Ambro, Hindu, Dharma, Buddhism, all the religions are so beautiful. And it's Harik, Dharma, ko essence, my case, I mean, Seva. Ozir. Do Seva, I am like, I live in a beach in one. Like, there are many like Bola, I remember, Sunday, high rasa, cholesterol body rasa, pressure body rasa, diabetes body rasa. Why, like, come, you know, go out and eat and not pack all that, you know, what you want, okay? Yeah. So I think everything in moderation. I'm like, Afno society like Afe sanga elevate gorna sapik sake po ramro onte da. Afli matra gorir aur lay pachi parno pai bni maza aye na ki. Honi, no definitely. This matra na pari kati thiyo. So, Alex dhyan rasoon chay na. It's definitely that. And I think thiyo bubble ma pai. Because if you thiyo lag the na pani reisa, thiyo empathy on the na pani reisa ki kati like. I think we we've become more empathetic being in the West for some reason, eh? Thiyo ek kisim ko subconscious. Third, I need to go to the house. 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 I need to go
अब अहिले यहाँ इफ यू सी अ स्ट्रे डग व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन यू आर गोइंग टू कॉल अप आरएसपीसी इमीडिएटली ऑन यू नेपालमा कति सीन काइन्ड अफ थिंग या नेपालमा कति वडा कल गर्ने हम कहिले के इमर्जेन्सी को केस पनि छोडेर हिड्नु पर्छ बिकज देयर इज नो रिसोर्सेस नो लॉजिस्टिक्स एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो इट्स अ वेरी ट्रिकी सिचुएशन बट एज एन इंडिविजुअल वी जस्ट हैव टू वे अप आवर प्रिभिलेजेस वी आर प्रिभिलेज्ड वी हैव टू रियलाइज दैट um and yeah just give back well what you're doing is really incredible you know the causes that you're supporting that you're actively pushing and the people that you amplify from your uh, social media and social media is powerful because they about whether it's a uh, few people or several hundreds or thousands that see it that's yeah. great because uh, you know we hope that uh, and social media much uh, one of the biggest uh, pet peeve about social media is i mean there is anale dekhcho and we we're, we're thinking oh thank god astale paper le goryo khalko and then we suddenly think that your zimmewa then about ah mero haina bhanera tar please tyo kaile pani nasochcho hola kina bhane maile pani aba tyo personally experience gareko nai ho it's that uh, the bystander effect okay i know it's like somebody's doing it i'm so glad khalko but don't yeah. think that because everyone's thinking the same thing and last matter last matter garne manche ta thore nai rahancha ke yeah okay? absolutely and the thing is hami garne manche euta ke kura realize garnu hundaina and i think over the course also, of time and also i want just want to clarify hami le kei dami chiz pani gareko chaina hai tara pani testo tyo thore chiz garna ko lagi chai sabai le garna sakinchha bhane ya matra ani tyo sana sana charity haru pani ulle garcha bhane bisi hami ka kati jana auncha tyo kura i've been donating every month right tara mero pan ta tyo कप त एम्टी हुन्छ नि त कुनै बेला सो त्यो कप एम्टी नगराउनलाई त यहाँहरुको सपोर्ट चाहियो दैट्स व्हाट आई मीन के सो डोन्ट एभर थिंक लाइक योर ओ त्यो भएपछि आई डोन्ट नीड टु डू इट तिमीले भन्यो नि यो यो वैलिड पोइन्ट रियली आई कुड नॉट एग्री मोर एन्ड जस्ट वन नोट ए व्हाइल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रेस्क्यू एन्ड चैरिटी आई एम ट्राइंग टु ब्रिंग वन अफ माय रेस्क्यूज टु द यूके अम फाइंड हर अ होम हर नेम इज एलओडी बिकज आई फाउंड हर आउटसाइड एलओडी क्लब ओके आई सी एलओडी अ बिग रेस्क्यू अम सो या जस्ट spread the word out and if you can support or forego a coffee like you said uh-huh. it's it's nothing out of your pocket really can we out a coffee miss got it up cuz it's a life potter and they have a new chance in life yeah um please be of support be of help and i'm just um, laying this out on the table definitely like yeah. a coffee cost like i don't know 3 3 So, or four pounds that could oh, be yeah. four pounds Tee a month as a direct bill. Pound you know. value the god as a table money. Um, uh. That's a really uh, nice news uh, that you shared regarding yeah. uh, you know the the process of bringing uh, or you know the uh, the campaign of bringing LOD to the yeah. UK. Or equally, do you think about how we in Nepal, Macau, yeah, UK, America, Japan? If you know, adopt, don't shop. Yes. Uh, I think that's a you know a, a big thing that we need to continue pushing yeah. rather and, than um, paying for dogs. Yeah, just while you're saying that, um mm. I also have a rescue call Kumari so say my little Egypt border lira cuz I'm your second baby. Mm-hmm. Um and it's so rewarding. Trust me, it's life changing how you can connect with animals and they're so appreciative of it and every morning I wake up I swear to god mero bachcha bhayeko bhai sayad tyo bachcha tithi thankful hundaina thyo hola cuz kids are ungrateful oh but god, yes. she is she genuinely knows ki ulle ghar payo bhanera ke and she it's everything that she does she's just so so kind and so amazing so please rescue you won't oh, ever regret oh my god yeah oh, it's so nice to hear about kumari yeah. and also uh, what i want to say is you know pepper i'm really about as a kuraga that here we touched on a lot of topics from you know um uh past my women like kasari perceive karthyo ra aile ko current challenges haru pani hai na hamro diaspora ko movement pani kati kura hami kura garda khere chai ni we're looking back we're looking mm-hmm. back but equally i think you know you are someone who looks forward who looks forward to what is life going to be like for me or for my community in 5 mm-hmm. to 10 years time this mm-hmm. is or for the dogs in 5 to 10 for the animals in 5 to 10 years time this is pani you know i think it makes you think okay so what can i do to prepare for 5 to 10 5 mm-hmm. to 10 years time i mean you know yeah. with with your career as well you know we're constantly any thinking where yeah, do i want to be where absolutely. do i want to retire you know what are my life goals and so on yeah. so i want to ask what does like the next few years hold for you because i'm sure there are certain things that you want to work towards whether it's um your place in the world or the mm-hmm. impact that you want to continue creating or being part of yeah um very interesting question i've um like i say i live for the day and i take um, one step at a time um in the past obviously i've been embarked on really risky journeys like giving up my career and going back to nepal to pursue digital transformation sort of app that we developed you know obviously we lost to bureaucracy but more like say a part of me really bonds okay as a nepali and i think everybody can connect to me i mean yeah i had a chat there boss ko manche okay 
we're torn between two societies and every breath that I take, Unzani, I think about Nepal, there's always something um, uh, around Nepal, okay? connections, whether I travel, oh, Nepal just to dekhni khana, oh, you, you just to yeah. taste unsat, you just to, and you know, I've been to so many countries, but Nepal is one place where my root is and I really want to continue to give back. So there are some new ideas that I, I am sort of working on and it's possibly going to be tech again because that's what my partner does and we want to sort of pave the way for people in Nepal to be involved in that sector because it's a fast-moving industry. It's very lucrative. Um, there's no sort of gender issues and so forth. You know, it's a skill that anyone can learn. Mm -hmm. So two potential, two sort of opportunity i Nepal my inject going to when it's saying uh, it will be very good. So definitely something that will take me back to Nepal. In terms of philanthropy, I think I will continue to just, you know, raise my voice and stand up for anyone who needs uh, a bit more attention and care and loving. So, yeah, I won't change, man. Um, it'll be the same. And my Libani, I have no karma, no soreness, career on the side. But ultimately, um, it's what you leave back, your footprint. So this could like it's a um just just keep doing little things and ultimately, you know, um you will be happier within yourself. That is so that I just feel like yeah. I've I am giving back and um You need just, to feel alive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So definitely, yeah, we'll we'll try and sort of pursue something in Nepal um in the years to come. Um but personally Bindis, it's a stage where, you know, I'm now thinking about motherhood. It's a very exciting time. So it let's is. see where, where yeah. life will take me. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that, that's so exciting. I wish you all the best for Thank all you. the different things that you want to kind of start to continue. You know, um, you already have so much on your plate, eh? Yeah. Uh, from career to the many, many roles that you um, juggle. You're not just one thing, yeah, I know. I guess. Um, we, we aren't. No one is. No one is. Yeah. Okay, you know? um, and I think we need to feel great about that. Yeah, I'm mm. not just one thing. I'm so many different yeah. things, you know. Yeah. I'm actually not just a single page we're mm -hmm. a fucking damn book oh my god i just swore but anyway <laughs> wow. so do you get what i mean yeah I do. you feel like um you shouldn't be so proud about it yeah, yeah. it's tunta. we have to evolve mm -hmm. we have to evolve stagnate by the boss even that is where all of the frustrations build up so mm. change is coming back to my point that i started with change is the only consistent thing in life yeah. so you've got to keep moving Sukha, dukha um Sukama no mati no, dukama na no. That's what my mom yeah. says. So just carry on doing what you're doing. That's it. Well, on that note, thank you so much for being such a wonderful guest uh, <laughs> coming to Action with Podcast and to everyone who's listening at home or wherever or if you're watching, uh, give it a thumbs up, follow Pepper on social, support Project Fade. Yep. And thank you thank for you. listening to Action with Podcast. Thank you. Thanks for Bye, having everyone. me. This episode is brought to you by our gold partner, A-Star Financial Solutions UK, Silver Partners, Tap Tap Send and New Luxme Jewelers, Bronze Partners, Nepal Authentic Dining and Nepali Music Festival UK 2022. Thank you for listening to Ik Chin With.